that's just like uh, your opinion, man. You know, every once in a while, there's a movie that comes along and the same point is brought up again and again about it. Why doesn't every movie just use practical effects? As you can tell by this $200 million movie, practical effects just look way more real and create a way more engaging viewing experience for an audience. Come on, everyone else, catch up. The latest one to do that would be Top Gun Maverick, which is a phenomenal movie, by the way. A movie specifically designed for the big screen experience and one that is delivered in the best way possible. Tom Cruise even says it before the movie plays with that personal message that he gives and thanks us for giving him our money. But it's a great thing that we did because hopefully studios get that message and see that more movies should be made with that same level of dedication to the movie experience and the realism of what's being shown on the screen. Because when that jet takes off from that carrier in that shot and we are propulsed into the true speed of an F-18, you can feel it because it's real and it's exhilarating. So by now, after all these movies, it's not really a revelating thought to think that practical effects are better and end up most of the time getting better results if done right, of course. And of course, if a director is even able to convince a studio to let them do it in the first place. That isn't necessarily the debate anymore. It's pretty much proven to be a fact by this point. But if you're like me and you want to make movies yourself, and you look at a behind the scenes video featurette, like the one for Top Gun. You can't fake the vibration. You can't fake what it looks like to be in one of these fighter jets. We wanted to capture every bit of that and shooting it for real allowed us to do that. And you see them attaching six mini IMAX cameras all over the inside and outside of an F-18 fighter jet plane. And then they go and they go up and do circles in the sky 60 to 100 times. They blow out the roofs off of buildings and you think, man, I wanna do that. Let me just reach into my wallet and pay the US Navy a few bucks to let me fly their fighter jet plane so I can make a fighter jet movie too. As epic as the results turn out, for the majority of filmmakers, something like this simply isn't practical in the slightest. You're not gonna be able to go buy a commercial airplane and crash it into a building for a singular shot in your movie every time. There's only a select number of people who can even get that done. So if in your movie there's a scene where a commercial airplane has to crash into a building, then you're in a bit of a dilemma. And that's where a conversation about the practicality of practical effects could be had. Turns out your production budget won't allow you to blow up a real hospital, or destroy a car, or flip a car, or maybe even drive a car on a real road. For a lot of people, the CGI could be the only choice you have to make what you want to make. But CGI looks bad, and we won't get the same experience. And we might not. So what do we do? We have this mega tentpole script in our hands that we know has the potential to make hundreds of millions and is the next big franchise. But in our heart, we know that in order for it to be portrayed right, in order for our vision to be put on the screen the way we want it to, we simply have to have, we simply have to use practical effects as much as physically possible, or else it's not worth doing at all. Well, maybe it isn't. Yeah, I've got a few scripts I've written myself, and I often think about this when I dream of making them real one day. It'd be nice to shoot this scene practically, but how practical is that? Even the giants like Marvel and Disney are, are forced to use the oh-so-dreaded CGI in their movies, and even with their big budgets, they get ripped apart, as you have probably seen hundreds and hundreds of times. We're left with choices. Do we use CGI? If we can even afford that and then maybe not have this incredible sequence in our script come to life in the best version of itself. Or maybe we should reevaluate our priorities. You know, if the story that we want to tell absolutely requires that utter realism which can only be achieved by doing it for real, maybe we should start with what we have available for real. You know, what can we even blow up and not go bankrupt in the process? Write the movie around what you can actually do practically in a practical way Maybe that makes our story smaller and more contained, but if we're dead set on practical effects and we're not Tom Cruise, then we might have to make that sacrifice. And based off the examples set by dozens and dozens of movies, it doesn't have to be 100% practical either. Especially in sci-fi movies, you see this all the time. CGI is used a lot of times by these filmmakers just to enhance a scene a little bit. Just to enhance a scene that they've already shot in real life. You know, rather than creating the entire scene from scratch on the computer, 
They shoot as much of it as they can on a set, and they go in and they fill in what they weren't able to capture later on. With this approach, you know, what makes sense to me is that by shooting the original footage for real on set, they can create a form of reference that abides by what a camera can physically capture in real life to essentially guide the digital creators towards matching their work to that legitimate image. Essentially, mixing the two techniques together when you, for some reason, aren't able to construct a 50-foot tall transforming robot. We can scale the strategy up or down if we need as well, again, depending on what you have available. What a movie like Top Gun shows is that, yeah, the practical effects look fantastic and take us to the edge of our seats. Of course, real actors actually flying in real F-18s in the sky while acting is going to be incredible to watch. I'd like to see more movies be able to do that because it was just that cool to watch in a theater. But sometimes it's just a little bit too impractical to do it this way. I mean, I would love if every movie could do it. Oh, what a better place the world would be if that were true. So when a movie like Top Gun comes around, blows everyone's socks off, it's special and it's great that it's doing so well. What the hell do I go? Shut the fuck up, Donnie.